All right, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to our class. Okay, so today is a physics class, and today we're going to have the new lesson. It's all about force fields. Okay, and then this topic, uh, we're going to study at least three, three subtopics. Okay, the first one is gravitational force and fields. Number two, magnetic force and field. And number three, electrical force and field. Okay. So we're going to study them one by one. And today we're going to start with um, gravitational force and field, right? So are you ready? Let's start now for the first one about, where are you? Okay, so what is gravitational force, okay? What is gravitational force? As you can see here on my illustration, um, when I say gravitational force, it's uh, derived from two words, okay? Force and gravitation, right? Force and gravitation. Now, what is the basic definition of force? Huh. What is the basic definition of force? Force is, how do you define force in, your, in our previous physics classes? How do you define force, Floyd? How do you define force? Anyone? Can you call me? Yes, yes, Floyd. How do you define force, Floyd? What is force? Force. Uh, something have you need Newton? Uh, okay, something that's uh, have you had a unit in Newton. That is correct. Okay. Um, another one. How do you define? What is the basic definition of? Thank you so much, Floyd. Okay. How, what else aside from that? That is correct. Okay. That is correct. What else? How about Bill? Bill, how do you define a force? Um, work. Again, please. Work. 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 All right. Yes. Okay, work. Okay, so that, that's correct also. Work, uh, force. Okay. Because uh, work is force times the distance, right? Okay. How about Prim? Hello, Pri, number six. The yes. basic definition. What is the basic definition? Uh, action to make it move. Okay, the action to make it move. That is correct, Pri. The action to make it move. And how do you do that? Okay, how do you make an object move, Pri? Okay, how do you make an object move? By either pushing or pulling an object. Okay. So you can make an object move by pushing or pulling the object, all right? Now, class, the basic definition of the force is it is either a push or a pull, okay? Force is either a push or a pull. Now, in here, another one is gravitation. Another word is gravitation, okay? Now, when I say gravitation, uh, we're talking about... Um, uh, the pull between two objects, okay? The pull between two objects with masses M1, M2, right? Object number one and M2, and the attraction between them is called gravitation, okay? Gravitation. Now, if this gravitation or if this force of gravitation is between the Earth and another object, we call this um, gravity, right? There's a difference between gravitation and gravity, right? That is why in here, gravitational force is the force, uh, something related to the gravitation, all right? Okay, another one. Gravitational force is an attractive force, okay? Because gravitation is attraction between two objects. Therefore, gravitational force is an attractive force that every object in the universe exerts on every other object, okay, in the universe also, okay? So if the attraction, if the force of attraction is between the earth and an object near the surface of the earth, we call this as G or the gravitational force or just the small letter G, right? Okay, next. All right, so this is gravitation, the difference, okay, gravitation. Gravitational force is the force between 
to object M1, object number one and object number two, okay? We call this force in here, F1 and F2, we call this as gravitational force, okay? Gravitational force. What else? This one, another uh, uh, explanation. Gravity is a mutual force of attraction between particles of matter. So in this case, it's between the particles of matter, let's say between the nucleus and the electrons, okay? So between the, uh, the protons and the neutrons, okay? So there is also an attraction between them, okay? And it is the same gravitational force that attract uh, between these particles, right? But we're not talking about the particles, we're just, uh, we're going to talk about objects uh, near the surface of the earth or uh, between uh, objects, right? Now, as I have said here, gravity and gravitation are two different words, okay? Now, when we say gravitation, it is the force of attraction acting between any two objects of the universe or in the universe, like between two planets, right? Or between two balls or between two objects or between two people, okay? We call that gravitation. Okay, now gravity is the Earth's gravitational pull on a body lying on near the surface of the Earth. Okay, so in here, one, uh, one object here or one body should always be the Earth, okay, gravity. Okay, gravitation, uh, it's not uh, about the Earth, let's say between, the, between, Ma, uh, between Jupiter and the moon of the Jupiter, right, or between Mars and Venus, okay gravitation between them okay now when one object is the earth and the other one is near the surface of the earth like uh, between um people like us between us and the earth we call this is gravity right or between satellite and the earth we call this as gravity okay understand that is gravitational force how about gravitational field what is gravitational field, okay? A gravitational field is a force field, okay? Imagine, this one is, um, <coughs> I'm sorry, this one is imaginary, okay? Imaginary, meaning invisible, we cannot see, okay? This field exists around a mass. All objects with a mass have what we call gravitational field, okay? Another mass introduced into the field will experience a gravitational force, okay? Now, this gravitational field are represented by a line with an arrow, something like this, as you can see in the picture, okay? So, the Earth has a gravitational field around it. This is the Earth. And there are gravitational field around the Earth, and the gravitational field are represented by the arrows, okay? This is similar to the gravitational field around a magnet, okay? They, they are the same, okay? Also, um, um, the only difference is that uh, for the Earth, the gravitational field is only toward, okay? Toward the center of the Earth, okay? The, the direction is going to the center of the Earth, okay? This is represented by the line of forces, okay? This line of forces are called gravitational field, okay? Now, in studying gravitational force and gravitational field, uh, we uh, use the universal law of gravitation, right? So what do you mean by this? In every particle attracts every other particle in the universe with a force that is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between their centers, okay? So in equation form, that is read as something like this, okay? Something like this. Again, what do you mean by that? By that, every particle, let's say this object number one, object number two, okay? They attract every other particle. So there is an attraction between these two particles, okay? That is directly, okay? The force of attraction is directly proportional to the product of their mass, okay? Product of their mass. And inversely proportional, meaning 
are inversely proportional to the distance between them. Okay, so D is the distance between these two objects. Right? So where the, the formula is FG equals G M1 M2 over D squared, where FG is uh, the force of gravity. Big letter G is the gravitational constant, which is equivalent to 6.67. Uh, times 10 raised to negative 11. And then M is uh, M1 and M2 are the masses of the two objects. And D squared is the distance between the two objects. Right? So we call that as the universal law of gravitation. Now, gravitational force depends on two factors. What are those? It depends on, where do you think? Gravitational force depends on what factors? Um, uh, plume. They depend on gravitational force. Depend on what factor? Uh, Mudnoy. Hello, Mudnoy. Are you still listening, Mudnoy? Hello, Mudnoy. My students are not listening now, right? How about Poo, Mr. Poo, number nine? Mr. Poo? Hello. Oh, I don't have students now. Nah. <laughs> okay. What about uh, Piraya, Piraya Panyapas, number 27? Are you still here? Piraya? Yes, teacher. Uh, gravitational force depends on two factors. What are those, do you think, Piraya? Force depends on? Uh... Mm. Gravitational Bad. depends on, okay, and then Bad. mass and distance. distance, all right, thank you so much, Piraya, that is correct, depends on mass, okay, the gravitational force between two objects, okay, object number one and object number two, okay, increases as the mass of the object increases, okay, okay. Um, Letter A and letter B, which one has greater uh, gravitational force, A or B? This one is letter A, this one is letter B. Which one has greater gravitational force? Um, blue, hello, number five, blue. Yeah. Hello, blue. This is letter A, object letter A, this one, and letter B, which one has greater, bigger gravitational force, A or B? Uh, B, my heart. B, all right, that is correct, Bloom, because this are, have, uh, this are uh, massive, okay? It has greater mass, okay? As mass, again, as mass increases, the gravitational force between the two objects increases as well, okay? So you can see here, they have more force of attraction between the two objects compared to the less massive objects, okay? Another one, distance between the two objects, okay? This is letter A, this is letter B. Where is uh, J? Hello, J number seven? J. Hello, DJ. Uh, J, uh, which has greater uh, gravitational force? The two objects which are closer to each other or the two objects which are farther away from each other? Away from each other. Mm -hmm. Greater force, gravitational force. When they are closer. Again. Okay. Again, again. Okay. Uh, which has greater gra or higher gravitational force? The two objects closer to, to each other or the two objects farther from each other? A, Raji, sir. A, okay, what's that? Closer, Chamay Kat, J? Yes. Yes, closer to each other, okay? So in other words, if the distance between two objects are close, close to each other, it means that there is greater gravitational force of attraction between them as compared to when they are farther away from each other, right? Thank you, okay? What else? Okay, this is the same. 
Now, we call that the classic equation weight. Okay, weight is equals to mass times gravitational field strength or W, which is the weight, equals multiplied by M, which is the mass, and G is the gravitational force of attraction. Okay, now this equation related mass to weight. Okay, because mass is a scalar quantity, but weight being a force is a vector quantity. Now, notice that G has two names and unit. Okay, and here G, uh, gravitational field is strength G is also equivalent to 9.8 Newton uh, per kilogram. Okay, and G is also equivalent to 9.8 meter per second squared. Okay, they have two values. Okay, what do you mean by this? They have two values. Okay, what do you mean by this? This one is Newton according to Ploy. Uh, force as the unit of Newton. That is correct. Okay. Because this one, uh, one Newton is the force needed to accelerate one kilogram of mass at a, uh, at a rate of one meter per second squared. Okay. In the direction of the applied force. In other words, let's say if we have 9.81 Newton per kilogram. This is the force needed to accelerate an object at 9.81 meter per second squared. Okay, that is for gravitational field. Okay, uh, just the same formula in here, gm1, where m1 and m2 are the masses, m1 and m2 are the mass of two objects uh, measured in kilogram. R is the distance between them, the distance between the two objects, R squared. And uh, the, the unit is M or meter. And G is the universal gravitational constant, which is equivalent to 6.67 times 10 raised to negative 11 Newton meter squared per kilogram squared. Okay, And F, of course, is the gravitational force. All right? Gravitational force. Next one, the Earth's gravitational field. Okay, what's the difference in here? Again, when you are closer or when the object is near the surface of the Earth, the field is strong and therefore the gravitational force is strong. Okay, when the object is far away from the Earth, the gravitational field is weak, right? And therefore, the gravitational field uh, force is also weaker. Okay. Now consider a man um, standing on the surface of the Earth. Okay. The man's weight is equivalent to mass times acceleration due to gravity. But we know that this is equal to his gravitational force of attraction or the weight. Okay. That is why mg is equals to just the weight. Okay. Mg or the weight is equals to g mm over r squared okay therefore gm over r squared this is equal to g we can multiply both sides okay by m and so we remove the m okay now this is a vector quantity okay how do we use this formula how do we use this formula now instead of the universal law of gravitation if you want to solve um problems let's say uh, if an object is near the surface of the earth we can use this formula okay gm equals r squared over g where g is what is g acceleration due to gravity g is the universal gravitational constant and m is the mass of the earth okay m is the mass of the earth and r squared is the radius of the earth okay R squared is the radius of the Earth. Take note of that. Okay? Let us have this in this example. Let us have some example. Example number one. Okay, so we have this uh, at least three examples. Let us try. Hope it works. Okay. Can you read example number one, please? Hello, um, Pear. Are you here, Pear? Not yet. Dream number 18, Pirada Jolawati Lert. Dream. Pirada. Hello. Are you here? Hello. 
Oh, what's wrong? I don't have students now. How about um, Pan? Hello, Pan. I will write absent for those who are not uh, answering. Pan, hello, Pan. Hello. Oh, Pan, can you read problem number one, please? And then answer my question. Pan. Adam, uh, read question Adam number one. Stand next to Ali and is attract to him. If mm -hmm. the Adam mass is 60 kilo and Ali is 670, calculate the size of the attraction if they are 50 centimeter apart. Okay, so they are 50 centimeter apart. What are the given? What are given the given mass of Adam and Harry? Okay. 60. So, what is 60 kilogram? That is the mass of? Of Adam. Adam and 70 is the mass of? Harry. Harry, okay. How about R? What is R? Uh, radius uh. the radius okay or the distance between distance. Adam and Harry okay R is the distance between Adam and Harry ha, uh, how long is the distance between Adam and Harry uh, 0.5 meter 0.5 meter because it says here they are 50 centimeters okay 50 centimeters we can convert them to meter 0.5 okay what is G here Pond, what is G? Uh, six pi six seven times ten negative eleven. Okay, Newton meter squared per kilogram squared. What is this? This is the universal gravitational constant. Okay, thank you so much. All right, so we're going to solve that. What's the formula? Universal law of gravitation is F. G, M1, M2, and R2. Okay, can you help me solve this one, please? Get your phone or your calculator. Do you have a calculator there? Substitute this value into the formula. We will have this one. 6.67 is G. Mass of Adam is 60 kilogram. Mass of Harry is 70 kilogram. And the distance between them is 50 centimeters. Convert them to meter. That is 0.5. Okay. Can you help me? Answer in the chat box, please. Uh, five points for today. Uh, in the chat box. Five points for the correct answer, please. In the chat box. I'm going to give five points for today in your participation. Last day of August. 8.31, right? Last day of August. Are you solving? Okay. Um, Pond has an answer here, Preen. One point, okay. Pan, raise two. Times ten raised to negative six. All right, thank you. Okay, so we have, um, I solved it um, using my calculator. I, and I was able to get, okay, I was able to get F equals um, 
times 10 times 10 raised to negative 5 what is negative 5 I just solve them uh, in a scientific calculator continuous and the unit is what's the unit of um, force Newton right Newton Okay, so thank you so much for participating. Bio has 5.6, 5.6, okay, let's see. <laughs> Maybe my answer is wrong, okay? Maybe I type it wrong, okay? But let's check, okay? But if you solve this using this, using this uh, formula, uh, your answer should be correct, okay? I just use my phone. I don't have a scientific calculator here, okay? If you have, I, I know you are very good in mathematics. <laughs> you know, you can have, uh, what are you using? A calculator uh, or in a cell phone? What are you using? A calculator, Prim, what are you using Prim? Prim, what did you use Prim? A, a, a cell phone or a calculator? Me? Yes, Prim. Uh, so and calculator. Scientific calculator. Okay, and you get 1.12 times 10 raised to negative 6. There we go. Cap. Okay, so 1.12 times 10 raised to negative 6. Okay, because I only use um, cell phone, right? So that is problem number one. Okay, L last one, another one before we uh, give you uh, problems to solve. Okay. Problem number two. Let us try this one. Problem number two. For problem number two, it's the same. Okay, can you read problem number two, Ken, please? Number four, Ken? Okay, those who participate today will give uh, five points. So it's this. Fun, Prim. Hello, Ken? Fun, respond, Prim. What's that? Uh, who is N? N only. Who is that? Tan? Who is N only? Tan? Uh, I don't yeah, teacher. Huh? Again? Yeah. Number 19. Number 19. Ah, no word. Okay. No word? 19? No word. Okay. View also and then flume. View, plume, oh, mutanoi, no, mutanoi. Ploy, no word. <laughs> yes, okay. Number two, please. Uh, uh, Ken is not here. How about, um, Pang, please read number 12, Pang, and then answer my question, please. Pang, hello? Pang? Yeah. Okay, can you read? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, number two. Calculate. Uh, calculate, the, calculate the gravitational attraction between a proton and an electron if the method of each are. 1.6 times 10. Negative 27. Negative 27 and 9.11 times 10 negative 21 kilogram respectively and they are 5.3 nanometer, nanometer. Nanometer apart okay so these are the given now what are the given uh pan m1 m1 is 1.67 times 10 negative 7 27 okay. that is the mass of proton okay and electron uh, Mass of electron is M2. Can I make up? Yeah. Okay. And 
um, R is 5.3 nanometer equals in meter. Convert that to meter. That is 5.3. Did I convert it right? Uh, 5.3 uh, nanometer is equals to 5.3 times 10 raised to negative 9 meters. Meters. And G is 6.67 times 10 raised to negative 11. The answer at uh, the formula, same formula. Okay, so we're solving for this. I use 5.3 times 10 raised to negative 9. Again, I'm just using my phone. Uh, Mr. Pond has an answer. Pond has an answer, but negative 51. Okay, Bill is, Bill is um, happy because she said finally she got the same answer as Prim. Okay, Prim, what's your answer? You're using your calculator, Prim. What's your answer? Type your answer in the chat box, Prim. Uh, let's see if Bill and Prim will have the same answer again. <laughs> Bio is happy when she has the same answer with pre. pre. Okay, you have the same answer with negative five or negative five only, pre. Negative five only. Fifty one. Five only or some some of your classmates have negative fifty one or negative fifty prime. Why only negative five? Negative twenty seven, negative. Yeah, they are, I didn't see. <laughs> Yeah, because they have direct message from me. Okay. 19. Nowhere. Okay, I can see a common answer, which is um, three point six times ten raised to negative fifty one. A different answer. <laughs> yes, 51 prime. Okay, 51. Okay. 3.6 times 10 raised to negative 51 Newton. Okay. 3.6. All right. Okay. Okay. So it's less than a minute. And when I return, I'm going to give you um, a quiz that you can solve. Okay. So for problem number two, and uh, number three in here, calculate the mass of the earth given the mass of one kilo.